Hey, welcome back once again, Hidden Acres Outdoors. This is day two of our farm pond build. And you can see, uh, basically the only thing we got done yesterday was we cleared out some of the trees where we wanted to put this pond and a little bit beyond that so that, of course, you can keep the dam backside mowed down and everything else. That's the big brush pile you see right there. Uh, I think that thing's about 20 feet tall. But those are the trees that we pulled out. It was not a whole lot that was really needed. Didn't have to bring a bulldozer in for that. And so this is day two. And what we have here is a big eight-wheeled, uh, huge, I mean, this is a huge John Deere tractor. It, unless you're in ag country, and then it's probably just average size stuff. But uh, this thing is articulated. So it can turn on a dime, and he's dragging behind it, I think it's a 12-foot uh, pan scoop. And what he's basically getting done today is removing a lot of the topsoil and starting to clear some of the stuff out. And taking the topsoil and just putting it in some low spots we've got in the field. And, uh, you know, I may have him drop some of it up here around the house and put... Uh, a little more topsoil around the house because basically I live on the biggest sandstone sand rock pit in the world I think uh, but you know here's just a few minutes of the video a little of the progress that's going on if you want to see how this thing progresses this is day two of the build but we're actually into like a week into this thing now and I was looking at what they've done I guess between the start and where they are now, and man, it's a world of difference. These guys have moved, uh, I, I would say a ton of dirt, but it's multiple tons of dirt. And uh, so it's looking good. It's going to be about 15 feet deep at the dam, probably seven or eight feet out towards the middle. And of course, it'll shallow up as it gets uh, up to the upper end. So it's not going to be a huge lake. Um, only maybe an acre, surface acre or something in size. We'll see how far the water ends up backing up. And it can't be a huge lake because we don't have a spring source or a creek feeding it. This is all going to be runoff from the uh, surrounding terrain. So you're kind of limited a bit by that. But if you built a pond, what I'm really looking for now is uh, some ticks, uh, ticks. So I, I don't want ticks. We got a thousand. Man, we are overrun with ticks. It seems this year's been so dry. But I uh, need to do a controlled burn now that I think about it. But if you got tips or tricks or lessons learned, if you built one of these farm ponds, you know, leave some comments in the in the comment section below. And you know, there's things we ought to be looking out for. We're down far enough now. I know that we've got clay, so this thing should not leak. Um, and that was one thing I was concerned about. We have hit a lot of big rocks, which is a bit disconcerting, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but the amount of clay we've got, that should not cause any issues. Uh, but these, these big machines are just fascinating to watch for me, at least. I grew up flying helicopters, and, you know, I guess I'm uh, kind of enthralled by anything big and mechanical, but there's one thing he can't do. He can't drive that thing around and blow stuff up at the same time. So <laughs> I was a gunship pilot, so that's why I, I say all that stuff. At any rate, uh, if you like this stuff, give us a like, subscribe. Be sure to hit the notifications if you want to see the uh, how this pond build goes. Like I said, I've got a lot of nice drone footage on this. And we'll see you next time from Hidden Acres Outdoors. Have a good one. Bye.